Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a Sephora haul. Are you guys excited? You obviously clicked it because of the title so you know what you're getting in for. I was due, I've been talking about it for a while, I was due for a Sephora haul and there are so many new things popping up. It is like, it used to be like beginning of summer launches, now it is just launches all the time. Has anyone noticed that? Like there's just so much makeup and there's so many new launches. It's hard to keep up. Okay, so I'm just going to dive right into it because I picked up a lot of things and I want to talk about all of them, obviously. So what to start with? Okay, the first thing, I'm pretty much wearing all of this today. So stay tuned for the next video because I am going to be doing, I've already filmed it, so I will be posting a first impressions get ready with me where I try all of these right on my face. So if you want to know all of my makeup details, wait for the next video. The first thing I really wanted to try is the Dior, looks like this, Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I love anything face and body. I love anything that has a water blend. The Estee Lauder Water Blend Foundation is one of my favorites. The Makeup Forever Water Blend is one of my favorites. I don't love the MAC Face and Body. I like it, but I think those other two are better. Um, so I tried this one. I was so worried this color would be too dark but it perfectly matches my self tan, and this is the shade 2W. I will probably have to go one lower because this is like a fresh tan. I'm never this tanned, um, but yeah, I love it. So you have to shake it up. It is so watery. They have a ton, I think maybe 40 shades, I'm pretty sure. It says it's a matte finish, buildable coverage, and it says it is waterproof. So yeah, if you wanna know more about that, you will have to watch the next video where I discuss this foundation, but so far so good. I think it looks pretty darn beautiful, and I'm gonna test it for the rest of the day and see if it does stick on my face. It's pretty hot outside. I'm gonna probably go sit on the streetcar and see if it holds up, so. Yeah, I wanted to pick up this bad boy. To go with that, kind of not really, I've heard a lot of people talk about this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It is a huge bottle. Like how many, 50, oh maybe the bottle's just big, 0.5 fluid ounces. No, because like a whole foundation is one ounce. So this seems like a lot of product. Anyways, very big bottle and this is a huge, doe foot applicator like a, just a huge applicator this is the shade vanilla I'm wearing it today a little bit light just for this shade this is definitely my real shade but if I go a bit lighter on this it'll work perfectly so I definitely have a bright under eye today but I am happy with this color it says it conceals contours highlights and retouch and it says it's super coverage so I've seen people use this like just as foundation and they use this in like a darker shade so they'll put like the light shade all in the center of the face then the dark shade on like the perimeter and like blend it all out so I guess that's what they mean by like multi-use I just use it as concealer we shall see so far so good I'm a little bit nervous how it's gonna last throughout the day um, like I said, I, I have it on today. Oh, there's something on my face. It's not insane coverage. It's pretty darn good. Um, like one swipe and my eyes are very bright. Um, I'm just worried about the cakiness and I'm worried about how long it lasts. And yeah, I'm just like, I've set it and I just want to see if it like crepes up throughout the day. So I will have to get back to you on this one, but it seems like it's a mix between the NARS Radiant Creamy and the NARS Soft Matte. So it definitely has a matte finish. Um, and it is full coverage, but I'm just worried about how long it will last throughout the day, but we shall see. Okay, next, I wanted to try, because there's so much hype around this, and this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I got just the mini, um, and not the big one, just because I was like, I just want to try it. If I hate it, I don't have to use up the whole thing before I buy the big one, so I like when companies do that, I whatever. So I'm wearing it today. It's very similar to the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It set everything beautifully without looking matte. It's definitely more of, it is not like a hydrating powder, but it has a tiny bit of luminosity to it. So if you're like very oily and you want like a very matte powdery foundation, uh, powder, you will not like this probably. Um, again, I have to see how it wears throughout the day, but so far it's set everything beautifully and like I just still have a glow about my face. Um, and that's thanks to this powder. Like I didn't really, and I'm even wearing that matte foundation. So it just did a really good job of setting everything and keeping that glow and keeping it like just really beautiful. It really looks like you just have a veil. Like it's just a beautiful kind of glow, kind of like the a mix of the Laura Mercier and like the ambient lighting powders kind of like mixed in one. So 
so far so good. I picked up a new, I've never tried these, can you believe it? I need a new uh, brow pencil, so I got the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Love the cute little packaging. I am the shade three, so there's a spoolie on one end and the brow pencil, and this is very similar to the Anastasia in the terms of it's like a triangle. This is almost like a, one, two, three, four, it's a hexagon almost, like a really pointy hexagon. Anyways, it's in my brows today. So far, so good. I don't know if I like love it better, but it works pretty much the exact same as the Anastasia, so I just like to change things up, try it out. I will be using it more and giving you my full opinion on it, probably in like, um, a monthly favorites, but the color is perfect. It's very similar to the um, Anastasia Caramel. The spoolie's nice, oh, oh God, now I've really messed it up. The spoolie's nice and little, which just really gets right in there and does everything. It's nice and waxy, it's very soft, and it's actually a thinner shape than the Anastasia one, so you can kind of get more detailed, which is kind of nice, so. I like that. Young blood. Okay, something I'm wearing. I'm wearing everything. Oh, I had to pick up the Sol de Janeiro. I don't know how to say that. Sol de Janeiro? No, obviously not like that. Sol de Janeiro Ipanema Sunset Glow Oil. Looks like this, if you can see. There's two shades. This is the Ipan Ipanema Sunset, and it says translucent, transfer resistant, shimmer for body and face. Huh. Create a romantic illuminating glow within minutes. Amazing. This smells so good. I can't, so this whole lid just comes off and then it's just like a normal lid, almost like it's like a paint bottle or something. And there's no spout, it's just a lid, which is kind of annoying. I would have liked a little pump, but I'm wearing it on my body today. Can you see this like, just like gorgeous sheen? Like right there, oh, I'm wearing it all over my chest. This smells so good. Ugh. It smells like their bum bum cream, oh, which I want. It smells so good. It just smells like coconut and vanilla and beachy goddess goodness. It's very thin. It looks like this is so opaque, and at first I was like, is that going to go over me? But it is very thin. It is very translucent. It just gives you such a beautiful glow. There is a darker one, um, but I'm very fair. Like, this is a self-tanner that I have on, but... Imagine this on your legs, too. Oh, look, look at my collarbone. I just love it. I, oh, it's just, whoa, kick the whole table. Calm down, Brittany. Anyways, yeah, so far, I love it. Um, I love body oils, especially in the summer. I know summer is, like, kind of nearing an end, but I tend to go on vacation in the winter, so this will come in handy for that. Something I haven't tried. I will probably try it tomorrow. This is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. Guard and Glow. So how many, does this have SPF? I don't know. I gotta find out if this has SPF before I talk about it. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Let me show you the bottle. And let's see, it has a little pump. Very good. Okay, I gotta read about this. I think it's just a bronzer. Okay, so I don't think this has SPF, so it's just supposed to give you like a bronze glow. You can wear it underneath foundation or instead of foundation. Let me see on my hand. Oh, ooh, okay. I just pumped like a little bit. Ooh, that's gonna be really pretty. So I just rubbed it in a little bit, as you can see here. So it's definitely got a beautiful glow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just obviously it's no coverage to your skin, but like it just adds like a. It, you can see that dark spot right there on my hand. Actually, it'd be good for hands. It says you can use it on your body, like if you miss your hands when you're self tanning. But like sometimes. You just want that glow, you're like, your skin looks good, you're just going down to the beach, and you just want like some bronzer all over your face, or some color all over your face, or you can apply it before if you're feeling like your face doesn't match your body with self-tanner, so excited to try this one out more, I'll have to see how it wears, what it looks like on the face, that kind of thing, but I picked it up. This was sent to me, but I wanted to mention it because I love it, this is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette, such cute packaging, like they just have these gorgeous pictures, it's very, very hard and sturdy, and there is a ginormous mirror, like look at this, hello, a ginormous mirror. Inside are the most beautiful shadows. When I saw this online, I was like, yeah, whatever, but then I got it and I was like, I love it. I have it on my eyes today. I did a look on my Instagram with it using like these like hot pink shades. 
it's actually a very neutral palette. So there are tons of mattes, like all of these mattes, there's some mattes right there. There's just some nice shimmery golds, there's some nice browns, there's a black. But then like right here, super fun. Right here, all these greens and blues, super fun. Like you could definitely take this with you and just like, be able to make a perfectly matte look. You could just use this as eyeliner, run this through your crease, highlight with this, or you could go super dramatic. So I actually really love this palette. Another palette that, what came, actually I should mention these. What came with those are these three eyeliners. I already worship the um, Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eye pencils. So they have three new colors. One is called Double Life. I'm wearing that today. One is called Lucky and one is called Override, which I'm most excited about because, like, look at this green color. Like, these two, I'm like, yes, please. So, yeah, just fun to have three new colors. They're definitely very summer, very fall as well, kind of like summer transition into fall. I want to do a look with this green one. What do you guys think? Anyway, so I got those. I got another palette. This was, like, last minute. It just dropped and I got it. This is the NARS Atomic Blonde Face and Cheek Palette or Face and Eye Palette. This is what it looks like inside. It's like, ah, like look at how perfect that is. So it has a bronzer, a highlighter, and four eyeshadows. These are like shimmery shades. This is a pure glitter, and this is like a glitter um, mixed with a matte. It's like a brown and gold glitter. Oh, Galapagos. That's like one of their most popular eyeshadows, I'm pretty sure. Ugh. Like this, I have this on my eyes as well today too. I have the bronzer on my face. This is my highlighter that I'm wearing today. It is kind of just like your gorgeous like bronze goddess in a palette. The bronzer is very interesting. You can hear me talk about it in my next video. It's very red and it's very dark, but I kind of think it worked out in the end. So still going to be testing this out. Maybe if I don't have a self tanner, how this bronzer is going to work for me. But so far the look is nice. What else? Oh, on my eyes guys, I need to buy more of these. This is the new Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. It's these little pots. And this is in the shade Foil. So it has like a little um, stopper in it and... Shit, as I drop it. And this is what the color looks like. I have this on the center of my lids. I thought this was a cream when I bought it online. It is not. It is like a pressed glitter. Watch my next video when I apply this to my eyes. I am shocked. I have this all in my eyes and it's so gorgeous. It is like the most perfect gold shimmery glitter without like too much chunks of glitter. It doesn't fall out. It is the most gorgeous gold color. They have a couple other shades. <gasps> I mean, I love glitter and I love pressed glitter. So this was just like perfect. We're getting there. On my lips. Oh, focus. On my lips, I wanted to try out the new what are these called? Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Flat White. I love their lip glosses. I have like three of them and they're all wonderful. And this one's Flat White. I almost thought it was too nude for me, but I kind of like it. It's definitely a pinky nude. I thought it would be more nude, but it's definitely a pinky nude. These smell like coffee. They have a little doe foot applicator there, as you can see. They smell like coffee, which is so cool. They're so opaque, they're so creamy, but they're not sticky, and that's what I remember from Bites glosses, so definitely like this. Maybe I should get a darker color, because this one is very light, and I don't usually wear such light glosses, but I think it looks good. What do you guys think? Okay, I had to also pick up this Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in the shade Punch. I love these lip balms. These are just tinted lip balms, and I have like I have like four of them, but this is the newest shade. It matches my shirt, and I wanted to get this. These smell so good. These just smell like fruit, like papaya and watermelon or something. And these are just gorgeous. They're just a tinted lip balm. You just put it on. This is a gorgeous, like orange, bright coral color. Perfect for summer. I love these. They're so hydrating and they just give you enough color. They're comfortable on the lips. They're kind of just like my no nonsense everyday lip. My birthday gift. This was the Glam Glow Hello Sexy. It comes with a mud mask and a illuminating moisturizer. So I got that. And I also got two little samples that I don't really know much about, but this is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer and the Sunday Riley CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. So I got these little freebies like with my 100 points or whatever. And that's everything. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was long, but I wanted to get a ton of stuff. 
Let me know down below what you think about these products, if you've tried them. Let me know if I needed to buy more things. If you're like, Brittany, how did you not get this? Like, how did you miss this one big thing? Let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't before you leave. It is free 99 and you'll have a good time. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.